I heard this story literally secondhand. It happened to someone who told it to the person who told it to me. This friend of a friend happened to find himself on Simcha's Torah in a drab development town in the south of Israel. Simcha's Torah, so he made his way down to the local municipal synagogue, and to his surprise, there were quite a lot of people there. Everyone was dancing around with their Torah scrolls, singing and making a lot of noise, and then suddenly, the singing and the dancing stopped. A hush fell over the shul, and an elderly gentleman disappeared behind the Aaron, the Holy Ark, and he brought out a wooden plank about three foot long. He carried the plank to the middle of the shul. Everyone drew back, and he put the plank on the floor right in the middle of the shul, and then slowly he started to walk around the plank, round and round. And then, as though summoned to some atavistic ritual, two other elderly gentlemen joined him, walking round and round in total silence. And everyone stood there in total silence and watched. After a couple of minutes, they stopped. The first man picked up the plank. He returned it to its place behind the iron. And the shul returned to a typical Simcha's Torah scene, dancing, singing as though nothing had happened. My friend's friend went up to this man and he said to him, what happened there? What's going on here? And so he told him, he said, during the war, me and those other two fellows, we were all together in the same camp. Before Rosh Hashanah, by a miracle, someone managed to smuggle a Sefer Torah into the camp. We were terrified. We knew if the Germans caught us, that was the end. So we pulled up a wooden floorboard and we hid the Sefer Torah under it in the floor. When Simcha's Torah came along, the Germans were everywhere. There was no way we could risk taking out the Sefer Torah. And so we just walked round and round in silence around the plank under which the Sefer Torah was hidden. And so now... Every year, the height of my Simcha, our Simcha and Simcha's Torah, is when we walk around that plank to remember that Simcha's Torah in the camps. A circle has no beginning and no end. On Simcha's Torah, we finish reading the Torah, and immediately we start again from the beginning. In our joy at having completed the Torah, we dance with it in a circle, and specifically, intentionally, Davka in a circle. A circle is endless. The Torah is endless. When we reach its end, we're already back at the beginning. The final words of the Torah are in the eyes of all Israel, and its first words are in the beginning. The circle dance of Simcha's Torah joins the end to the beginning so that indeed the eyes of all Israel should be fixed on its beginning. <laughs>